Hey, I'm Pastor Daniel Mackenberg from Cumberland Street Baptist Church, and just want to spend a couple minutes uh, just looking at what the Bible really says about some couple issues. Perhaps you've heard about the parable of the lost sheep and and been told by a pastor or a teacher that uh, when the shepherd finds a sheep that he would break the leg of that sheep and and then he would carry him back and and you know whatever story the end might have come and 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 the the next thing you'll be told is about the disciplines of god and when you're going through discipline and having a leg broken or whatever it is that that's god correcting you and keeping you from running away from his will and his ways well let's go to luke chapter 15 and let's find out does the shepherd really break uh the sheep it says in fifth luke 15 verse 3 so he told them this parable what man among you who has a hundred sheep and loses one of them does not leave the ninety-nine in the open field and go after the lost one until he finds it? When he has found it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders. And coming home, he calls his friends and neighbors together, saying to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who don't need repentance. We don't see any indication of the leg being broken there, do we? Turns out, and I'm very surprised because I thought it was in there, because that's what I've always heard. Well, in research, and we find out, believe it or not, that story of the breaking of the sheep leg is actually a myth. There is no historical evidence of any shepherd who has ever done that written anywhere. And Jesus wasn't saying that. In fact, what we find him doing is picking up this lost sheep, carrying them back, to the fold, the amazing love of the shepherd loving them and bringing them to the fold and explains to us the parable that it is actually the joy over one sinner who repents and uh, then over the 99 righteous people who don't need repentance. That's pretty amazing and pretty significant. God's not looking to break your leg when you run away. He's looking to go reach out to you and bring you back into the fold. God is a God of love. There's no two ways about it. God bless you. Aren't you amazed at who God is?